Welcome back. We've seen record unemployment during this coronavirus pandemic, but slowly jobs are returning. Others are trying to hang on to the jobs they currently have. Joining us with more on what to expect during these tough times is Angela Civitella, the founder of Intinde. Now, Angela, thank you for joining with us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, let's get into some of these questions we have here. It's going to be a tough job market, of course, but what can applicants do to better their chances and stand out from the competition they're up against? So, um, great question. Uh, it's a challenging uh, job market uh, today with what we're facing. Uh, but to people that are looking for uh, employment, now is the time to really hone in and see what makes you different from someone else. Tap into skills that you may never have thought were relevant. Put them at the forefront. Uh, try to see if there's some cross-reference, maybe in another industry with what it is that you were doing in the previous industry that you were in. And see if there's some relatability there that could be found. So try to stand out just by, you know, making yourself uh, stand out by maybe having another language, a uh, different skill set, something that you've added recently since we were on lockdown. Maybe you brushed up on your digital marketing skills, uh, web uh, design or e-commerce. Anything that's targeted towards online would be key right now. That's great. And then on the other end, what can current employees do to show management just how valuable they are and that they shouldn't be cut? That's the thing. Now's the time to be as loud and proud as you can be with regards to what it is that you stand for and what you're capable of doing. So if, let's say, you want to jump in on, in another department and see if there's a lending hand you can give them, uh, if there's some sort of uh, innovative idea that you've always wanted to express but we're always afraid to, now would be a good time to speak up. So anything that could make you stand out and stand up and be heard, now's the time to be, like I said, loud and really be committed to uh, the belief that you belong in that job environment so that your employer will think twice before letting you go. Absolutely. And of course, this time it's very stressful for really everyone. Is there a way to take COVID stress and turn it into something more positive? There is. It's all mind over matter stress, right? And so there's good stress and bad stress. The point here is to make it as productive as possible for you. So one way to do that is to write down your stress factors. What is it that gives you the most stress? And then right after that, write the things that you can actually do something about. It's useless to stress about things that are out of your control. So work, as they say, within your circle of influence, things that you can actually, by you taking charge of what it is that's providing that level of anxiety, you can make a difference and change that outcome for you. And the rest, it will just have to wait and it will take care of itself at some point. Angela, thank you so much for your time. Where can people get some more information about the job market? Uh, please reach out to me at Angela at Intende.com. I'm on Instagram, Angela underscore Intende. My website, www.intende.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, Angela, for your time. We appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Thank you.